In this set of video tutorial, we are going to learn another Excel tool which is very useful and uh, that is basically filters. Filters is available under data and it is next to sort on the right hand side. So it enables filtering of the selected cells based on certain conditions. So as we have this case study which consists of various data points, let us try and apply this filter in our case. So we have serial number, name, department, etc. So what you can do is you can actually select the full table and click on filter. And the moment we do that, you will find that there is a down mark arrow which comes on all the headings. So um, let us see what, what is there inside these set of headings. So when we click on that, we find that it contains various sort options, the sort options which were also available next to the filter button and uh, there are different kinds of sort available. Uh, one thing which is very important here is to see that all the different or unique uh, values which are inside uh, the names are available here. So say for example, you can select and deselect uh, various options. Let's say I want to only see the data of Aaron. So I can deselect all by clicking here and only select Aaron and we, I can press OK. So what you will see is that this data of Aaron is only displayed and all the other data uh, which was originally there in the table is not deleted but is hidden. So that's what we can kind of uh, work around when we talk about filters. I want to filter Aaron and look at his data only. This helps in further analysis. So let us try to analyze this further. Uh, I'll go back and um, kind of select all the employees and let's see another uh, header. Let's say you know in the under the department uh, I probably want to analyze only IT professionals. So for this I will deselect all and only select IT and I would press OK. So as you can see this time only employees from IT are visible. So I can actually do a lot of analysis here, see their salaries, you know, take home salaries and uh, find some deeper meanings associated with it. So this is how I can use auto filters. Can I use two filters at once in the different headers? Say for example, I want to choose marketing and under marketing I can see that there are males and females so uh, let's say if I want to see gender which how many females are working in marketing I can provide a second filter so I have already provided the first filter under department and the second filter under the gender and I would press OK and as you can see there are three females under the department called marketing. So this helps us in terms of refining to the granular level to which you want. So another useful thing which uh, probably is uh, very important from the point of view of uh, uh, filters is that uh, you can also provide certain conditions. Certain conditions uh, like let's say I'll just show you with respect to annual salaries, percentage of annual salaries and um, let's say number filter. You can see under number filter I'm not choosing one of these set of options, I'm providing a condition. So when I select a drop down and I go to number filter, I see that there are different conditions which are available here. I can select top 10, above average, below average. The one which, let's say if I, if I select above average, you'll find that it automatically calculates the average and gives the list of uh, employees who are above average in terms of percentage of total annual salary. Likewise, below average, you'll find these are the guys who are getting below average salaries. I can also provide a customized condition. Let's say I want to have or I want to see employees whose salary is greater than 9%. So this is a customized condition and now you can see there are only two employees. So it's basically very useful uh, if you are using uh, or if you are dealing with a lot of data and uh, it really helps in terms of organizing your things. So make the most of uh, filters and its associated applications.